Okay, it's uh, Sunday morning. It's May 15th, Sunday. It's morning. They've done their little breakfast stuff. They're starting to run around. As you can see, I'm home alone. I'm the only one who can take videos. And it's the usual thing. They're all at my feet. I tried to look for an opportunity when they were all, they're all wanting to be with me. This is very difficult to take a video. I may not be able to get much video in. Here we are. Mummy took off Red's collar last night. So I had to put on a new collar on Red, little Red girl. She's got her back, a red collar back on with sparkles. A red collar with sequin sparkles. And as you can see, they like to be with me. Yes, they play with each other. Yes, they play with toys. But it seems like when I'm talking and I'm active, I become ever so much more interesting. And then they chase after me. If I'm quiet, they've been weighed today. They weigh between nine and a half pounds and ten pounds two ounces and of course green's the heaviest red's in the middle and brown is close behind and as you can see they're becoming ever so much more active leaping running exploring everything having a snack when they feel like it They still sleep with mummy at night. Mummy can choose to nurse them or not. Mummy has her own area, her own door to the outside. But they definitely are starting to prefer, oh, this is plush ball with a squeaky inside. Big favorite toy. And the fabric animals that have soda bottles inside with squeakers are a big hit and those uh, holy moly balls they're all starting to show serious interest in them and of course sleeping at my hus on my husband's chair right at his feet when he's sitting at his computer <laughs> is something they like to do, sleep at Grandpa's feet. And they're starting to go in the puppy house. Last night someone took that lion that's a big favorite. It has like crackly plastic inside. And they're really starting to play with the toys. And the holy moly balls that are like honeycomb plastic light easy to carry. Balls are always a big interest with puppies. I think because they move. Oh, we're going to challenge. Okay, let's have a little war here. Hey, you can't beat me up. I'm big and tough. <clears throat> Probably by next video they'll be in and out of the puppy box. If they're they follow the normal learning curve of typical puppies. We've had our first puppy go in and out of the box. Green went in and out of the box a number of times. And look at that. They're starting to prefer to go potty in the special allocated place, which I've infused with puppy pee and puppies. Elimination smells. They're starting to go. They're starting to know that there's a place to do it. And they're starting to look for the place, which is pretty exciting. But here they are, four and a half weeks, starting to understand that you don't just pee and poo anywhere that you feel like it. And Green is being a little explorer right now. And... We call 
we call the little brown guy, little man, and that we call the uh, brown, orange collar boy is little man, and green collar boy is Luke, and little red collar girl is as yet unnamed. She's just a little red collar girl, and she likes that, uh, she goes after the, the little, <laughs> what there is, like little ice cream cones. You start by giving the puppy smaller toys that they can negotiate and carry. That little piece of pipe is a, is often a favorite because they like to play tug of war with it. Oh, we're having a little puppy war right now. A little battle between girl is trying to dominate Luke, the little green boy, and he's having none of that. He's saying, as long as you want to play, fine. If you think you're going to bite me, well, then I'll just get you back. Okay, I, maybe we'll go for a toy. Toys are good too. I can. Uh, maybe you're more fun. And little man is avidly carrying his ball. Oops, I fell over. That was on purpose. That was on purpose. It wasn't too big for me. I can play with that. Hmm, maybe ice cream cone is better. No, maybe this ball that we all dropped in the water and got wet is better. Yeah, uh-huh, it has the ropes. I can carry it by the ropes. And little Red is saying, you got something interesting? Uh, this uh, ladybug looks good. Maybe I'll have something more to eat, says Luke. No, maybe I'll go exploring. And that's a little girl. I took down all the curtains except that one that just keeps the draft out when you open the door. And orange colored boy is playing with the ball. And that those knobbly wobbly balls, which are easy to pick up are all, and all are also pretty interesting. I have a pretty good idea what toys they like at different ages and you'll notice the cho toys will change as their interests change. Oh, Grandma's just so interesting. Okay. You can see they're just growing like weeds. Pretty much I select my breeding stock so that we're going to be having large, big boned puppies who will grow up to be substantial dogs. I, I don't breed scrawny little things with little pussycat ears. My puppies will have larger ears and keep in mind the larger the ears the longer it takes them to stand because you've got to patiently wait sometimes as much as four or five months you got to patiently wait for the because of the larger size of the year for the cartilage to get large enough to support that ear up oh we're going to go prancy prancy find something else to play with oh let's see what she's found oh the ball <laughs> Orange collar says, ah, Grandma, Grandma's feet. Yes, we're going to go for Grandma's feet. Grandma's slippers are the funnest thing to get at. Oh, come on, we're going to chase Grandma's slippers. We're all going to chase Grandma's slippers. Maybe they'll find something else to be interested in. Oh, now tug of war over the ball. That sounds like something to do. Whoops, run, run, run with that ball. I keep backing off and they keep following me. Yes, I'm a big hit. I'm, you might call me the Pied Piper of puppies. Well, we're getting nowhere on this one. Oh, now we 
got distracted. We're going to have a puppy war. Oh no, somebody else is chasing me. The two boys are at it. Luke is trying to beat up his little brother, Orange. Luke being the name for the green guy. Oh, are we going to demonstrate how we play tug of war with this little piece of hose? It rolls. We can drag it around. It's very interesting. We're not quite ready for the hose yet. And tug of war with hose. But definitely soft balls that we can lift and carry are a hit. You might wonder why I have the buckets over here. Well, that's after each puppy playtime, I have to pick up all the toys, put them in the bucket. Otherwise, the big dogs get them and they go everywhere or get destroyed by the big dogs. So I make sure puppy toys are for puppies. And I have a real variety of toys, age appropriate, so I can change the toys as they as their interests change. Oh my. Back to Grandma's feet. This is not going to work. Uh huh. Tease Grandma again. Well, uh, little man has decided to go to sleep. It's nap time for me. I'm all worn out. And red collar girl is has found something to do. I see somebody went a little pee spot in the wrong spot. I'll have to wipe that up. And where did Luke go? Oh, Luke is by Mummy's crate looking for toys, looking for Mummy. Who knows? Oh, maybe I'll have another little snack. Luke went over to see what his brother is doing. Red's having a snack. The, do the big dogs outside are alerting me that it could be a car visiting the neighbor house. It's for sale. It could be a cat. It could be another animal. It could be somebody walking. But they sure let me know when anything is happening outside, which I like. Nobody approaches my house without us knowing that someone's coming around. And the cool thing is the puppies learn to to do this alerting from the big dogs. Soon enough you'll start hearing them doing little puppy barking when the big dogs bark. They're not quite sure why but they sure know that alerting is what they should do. Kind of exciting news we heard recently that one of our puppies as a two-year-old had surprised an intruder who was on the property of one of my clients and the client heard the, do the girl do a big woof that someone was in the area and she shot off like a bullet and he went to see and there was somebody at one of their outbuildings and she had him pinned she was doing a hold and bark nobody trained her to do it she just naturally did it this is that Slovakian breeding they're genetically predisposed to be working and to instinctively know what they should want to do as far as protectiveness is concerned. They breed for that, which I'm enthused about. Anyway, so much for the video. I'm going to stop this now before it gets too long. They're starting to get boring, aren't they? Eating, they'll go to sleep. You're, there's mummy coming back in from her checking on what's going on outside oh now she's got to go check outside again and see what's happening because goodness knows it might be some monster something that mummy you have to protect mummy from anyway this is the end of the video hope you're enjoying it gee i appreciate you letting me know even one of you letting me know that you got the video so that i know that i didn't make a mistake with the link i didn't accidentally mess it up so that the, the video is unviewable. I always appreciate knowing that you were able to see it. Anyway, have a good day.